Okay, y'all. So this is for the people that might have a whirlpool. I forgot the year of this thing, but this is what it looked like. You might got an idea of it. If it's any type of brand like that, then you this might work for you. Like you might get this code that pop up. And I'll drop a uh I drop a photo down in the video so you can see the code that I'm talking about. But it'll read this code. And the code that it reads is basically saying that it's not detecting any type of water. So I'm gonna fix this machine. And I'm hopefully this hit video will help y'all fix y'all machine. And cause it ain't got nothing to do with y'all water at all. It's just that what's going on is where you hook your water up at is clogged up. As y'all can see, this stuff right there, it's just it's clogged up way bad. It's supposed to look somewhat like that, even though this clogged up too. So I'm gonna I'm clean these out and then no more uh no more codes popping up. The water gonna be able to flow through properly. So what it, so what the computer detecting is there's no water coming through because of the, these filters right here clogged up. Oh yeah. These filters, you don't try to take them out. Just try to clean them with something very soft, like a soft brush or something with some soft bristles or something like that. And uh get that that crud and you know what I'm saying? Hot water stains and whatever else could have came out of there. Get that up out those filters. Then it's going to run perfectly fine. Make sure you put your bucket down there so you don't mess up your floor. From your water. Make sure you turn your water off first. Hot and cold. Turn them both off. But it's still going to be water inside the line. Those some very long lines that I have. So, you know, they're still draining right there. But once you clean those, you're going to be perfectly fine. Your machine going to be back to working. And uh, you can thank me on this video by giving me a thumbs up, subscribing, maybe leave a comment. It could be good. It could be bad. You, you can let me know about something that I need to, uh, you know, do better in the video. I'm open for all of that. All right. So this is what I this is what I came up with. How to clean mine? I'm finna. I put some very hot water. Open this bucket. You know what I'm saying I'm using this brush. Cause the bristles, you know, stop on using this one just in case I might need it. Cause in that little area, which I already then started trying to work on, I done got a lot of it out with the big one and the small one. I can see in spots that I want to get, and it's gonna get it up out of there. And that's with no hot water. That one right there is very clogged up. As y'all see, look at all this stuff right there. I don't even know what that is, but it's in there, and we finna get it out. I just got a bucket, any type of bucket that'll hold water, whatever, you know. And find something with some, they got some soft ends on it. So you don't tear up nothing, mess up nothing. Cause them things right there, since they don't look like it, but they are. Don't try to take them out, like I said. And uh, sorry y'all. And I'm gonna get back to it. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully this video will help you. And then you don't get that code anymore. Once you clean them things out, you ain't gonna get the code no more. Cause as you can see, they clogged up. So, like I said, Share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and to post another video, peace.